This Courage presentation will help you to identify and then create win-win partnerships with other community members to assist you in your child protection efforts. No person is an island, as the saying goes, and this is especially true when it comes to solving child protection challenges. To ensure the communities are most effective in creating a safe and empowered space for children to thrive, they must work together with other like-minded community members. True partnership and collaboration is defined by shared values, mutual trust and respect, and good communication. Partnership is critical in building strong families, ensuring extended family support, and effective government and community collaboration that ensures the best interests of children are met. These are some useful tools that will help you to identify your child protection partners in your community, which you can download from the Courage Child Protection website or order a printed version online. As stimulus for your child protection partnership exercise, you can either use an A1 Courage community map, which is available in portrait or landscape format, and some colored buttons or stickers. Or you can play this video and ask participants to list the child protection partnerships that they think they should build in their community. Or you can download and project the Courage community map from the presentation format of our website and use colored marker pens to identify your child protection partners. There are two steps to creating a child protection community partnership plan. The first step is to identify your community child protection partners. And the second step is then to develop a win-win relationship with each of them. Using stickers or buttons, identify all the child protection partners you are or should be working with in your community. For each of these partnerships, you should create a win-win partnership strategy that details your shared vision and values, as well as what you expect from each other. The key to a successful partnership is ensuring that there is a balance between what you give and what you get from each other. All partnerships must be based on mutual trust, respect and integrity. This is the Courage Community Map and represents a community anywhere in the world. Starting in the top left-hand corner and moving right, you will see different kinds of community partners that you can collaborate with, such as corporates and business partners, community social workers, health workers and paramedics, and other community members. In residential areas, you can find your family and other community members. In schools, you can find teachers, coaches and counsellors. In government, you can find a range of government departments such as social development, home affairs, health and education. In child protection, you can find social workers, carers and non-profit organisations. In clinics, you can find doctors and nurses. And in the courts, you can find legal advice through lawyers, court officials and human rights organisations. At universities, you can find health and welfare clinics and counsellors. In rural areas, you can find support from extended family, other community members and traditional healers or leaders. At your chosen religious institution, you can find religious counsellors, in children's homes, you can find social workers, carers and non-governmental social support services. In clinics, you can find healthcare practitioners, counsellors, psychologists and psychiatrists. In police stations, you can find police officers. And in hospitals, you can find doctors, nurses and other psychosocial support services. If you are using this presentation as the workshop stimulus, you may want to press pause now so that participants can spend some time exploring the community map for their different partners. Press pause now. Once you have identified the people you should be partnering with, you will then need to create a win-win partnership plan with each of them. To do this, simply draw two circles, one on top of the other, and then draw arrows between them. Place your name in the bottom circle and your partners in the top, and then identify what your shared vision, values, and objectives are. Then ask yourself, what do I need to give this partner, and what do I want to get from this partner? Once you have detailed your perspective, it will be important to meet with your various partners to discuss and agree your ideas as their perspective may be slightly different to yours. Together, ensure that what you give and receive in the partnership is balanced, so that there is no resentment from either side. If you start with your shared vision, developing a partnership plan should be easy. We often know who we should be partnering with, but only get in contact with them when there is an emergency. Developing a detailed child protection partnership strategy upfront ensures that when there is an emergency, you already know who you should be talking to and working with. You already have a relationship with them and each member of the partnership knows what their roles and responsibilities are. In this example, these social workers are using the Courage Community Map to identify possible partnerships that they can develop in the communities they work in. Participants then develop a win-win partnership plan as illustrated in this example, where they firstly agree their shared vision and then define what each partner needs to bring to the other to achieve this vision. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit couragechildprotection.com 
Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our Courage channel. Stay strong and take courage.